that suits your approach. I wonder if you can always do a music video. So pick a like a three and a half minute music track. That might be a better platform for you to do this animation for. And, uh, and do a twist on that as well. So almost you have like business name. Yeah, so basically, um, uh, Noah's Ark is fine, but it's a story that we've done a million times. So what makes it all different? All right, you're animating it, which is clever in itself, but you want almost a story to be different as well. So Does it have to be Noah's Ark? Could it be? I like the idea of coin animation. Coin animation. It's just that has not the most on no plot. Could it be the battle, battle, battle of action core? You see what I mean? Just think of something that could be done randomly through coins. It could be, or it's like the cards. It could be um, yeah. something. The King John dying of dysentery. Horrible coin. <laughs> what could be something to do with coins? A story about money, a story about coins. Yeah, could it be almost like a history thing, but through the actual medium of what it's talking about? Yeah, it starts with pyramids and it goes to the Greeks. That, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, quite a, good, that's a good idea, yeah. You see what I mean? It's almost like a plot that gives you a narrative structure, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a good idea. The history of coins using coins. Yes. Like Bang on the money. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't even, don't do it in the narrative or voice over it. It's just literally the origin of the coin. Mm. Yeah, but, but, be, be, yeah, but be a bit more expressionistic with it. So it almost like, because so, animating allows you to have that expressionistic flourish. But instead of just going, you know, the coin could kind of go at the ground or something and pop out, or you can have this grand birth of it coming out. You know, be really expressionistic with it. So yes, have the pyramids, they could kind of build them to a pyramid, couldn't they? You could have the coins as slaves, kind of, kind of yeah. building the pyramids. You see the quirkiness that you could get, yeah, do with it. Up, yeah. yeah, the five piece were pressed by these big pound coins, you know, yeah, I mean, pound coins. money block cash. Um, yeah, that's the thing of mine, trying to get as many pennies as possible. Yeah, do it with big copper, yeah, brass coins, copper coins, yeah. Well, I think they'd be more um, easy to animate because they're darker, and yeah, yeah, in case it's the light, out light is really but yeah, this, that would kind of be yeah. the origin of the coin. Oh, yes. And then could you even go into the modern day thing with all the banking crises and stuff like that? It could be, you show these how of in the day fall down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fall back up, the go down. Yeah, so you've got the origin of not just coins, but money. And that's just brief sound effects in the background, just to symbolise yeah, yeah. sort of the outside of a building. It's all about outside of city noise, just so we know all oh, we know. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So you're almost doing the origin of the coin and then the impact it's had on modern day life and civilization as it's gone through. The fact that finding money now dictates everything that we do. You could think along those lines. That'd be fantastic. So it's like the theme of money as well as the actual history of money. Yes. And, what it, and how it basically dominates everything. That world, small coin. The world is written, the world is built on paper and pen. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, cool. So, uh, so there's yeah, use dragon frame. Two and a half k. So shoot your resolution two and a half k. Yeah. So your camera does that easily. It's two thousand, two and a half thousand. It's still just a bit. Um, history and impact. Better phrase, you can call it a much better phrase than that, of money, yeah? And it could be almost some like an experimental kind of Expert, yeah. animation art piece that the theme of it is that money controls all, money warps all. Yeah, there's that hidden message. Yeah, that. the birth of this humble coin becomes the thing that dictates the whole plan. Yeah, it could yeah. Yeah? small coin, it evolves into almost like Wall Street. <laughs> it becomes this like, Overall leader, superpower. superpower. Yeah, that's actually real fun with that. Yes. While still keeping this kind of evolutionary thing for us. Yeah. One coin's tail. Yeah. Want to rule them all. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that would be really good. No, I like that. That's the idea. That's the idea. Done. Just got to make it now. Yeah. No, I really like that. And then obviously all your prep stuff will be all the research that feeds into that. Yeah. Can I ask you to look at some animators for nice. as well? Which ones do you recommend? There's a particular man who does um, 
I think with Super Yuri Yan Sang Kamari. Yan Sang Um Again, this would all be good research to put through process and pairing things. Yan, uh, spell is made completely wrong. It'll be once you type on Google. Yeah, and the thing. About 20 times. Yeah. Again, what you can see is Finnish, English, depending on whether it's a B or a F or a yeah. Yan Sang Y, it's completely wrong, roughly. Yeah. Um, they're two good starting points. Both of them use live action stop motion, so that the understanding might specialise in animating people as well as objects. And you really pack things, you yeah. just use people. Yeah, and then Builders Quake animate and animate objects and make them come alive. So, you know, in Toy Story, the original Toy Story, yeah. you know, those walk toys kind of build themselves together. Yeah. That was inspired by Builders Quake. Basically, they do. They get they came with that idea of you know, like dolls, like those sinister old dolls that then put. Have you ever seen Dreams of Toyland? Uh, I have, yeah. Yeah. It's just it's weird. Weird. We said them um, on the list of influences to Toy Story, that was one. Yeah, it was. But the, the other one is this the, the darker side comes from these guys. And they did like um, streets and lizards and all those kind of things. It's when dolls kind of like take out like, like a teddy bear, fluffy awesome. teddy bear, will take out. Screws out the floor and put it into its yeah, paws. It sin. It was a practice of sin. It's totally yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was, so that comes from his life. Yeah. And then. But he did the, the, he probably did the most, he did the seminal version of Alice in Wonderland. It's just called Alice, you understand why? And it really embraces that surrealism, the dark surrealism of C.S. Carroll. You know, it does yeah. that whole thing of going into a drawer and the, the fear and the danger that she's in and all that kind of thing. Well, I think Alice in Wonderland's story. Should be more dark. Yeah, yeah and he does mix his animation with normal speed stuff. I mean, it's very strange. Because I think if it was a real dream story, but yeah. it would be more dark. Yeah. But he did a lot of shorts, he had to say, where he did tonight. He did one called Food. Mm-hmm. There's two guys sat at, um, sat at a table like this, and one of the men is a, is a, is a food uh, machine. So basically, he put money in his mouth, tweak his nose, poke his eyeball. And then a lift comes up, you open his shirt, and then the food, like sausage and mash, is this. He's like his stomach, and then put it in. It's really, um, yeah, interesting. Oh, so odd, yeah, but, it is, a good but a man's using animation to take what seems like it's real and take it to another level. It's like avant garde, but comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. Um, all right, so I think is we've moved away from the Noah's Ark thing, but that's helped us get to this point, I think, that we'll yes. ask, yeah. Because um, that was my big question: is what is the plot? What is what or what is the theme that is driving? I think the animation more than anything is what is the theme that's driving it. It can be as creative and as imaginative as you want, but what? And that would help you. What is driving me forwards? Why am I going from point A to point B to point C? Well, with that, I love the fact that it's got the historical spine, but you've also got that thematic spine background. Yeah. That money is basically all controlling power. Yeah, it's like Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Yeah, the image in the foreground with money in the background. Yeah, 